What's going on, guys? It has been quite a while since I sat down and recorded a video for YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a follow-up to the video I posted a few years ago, which was going over the Big Reactor Computer Craft integration. This video is going to be in uh, Minecraft version 1.16.5 with the Bigger Reactors mod and CC Tweaked. Uh, not much has changed as far as the installation process, but I did have to change the original code around a bit. Links to the original code and my code will be down in the description, uh, so feel free to go check those out if you have any suggestions on what I could change, what I could add, maybe. Um, I'm not great with Lua, but I can try my best. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get on to the installation. Okay, so for the installation, you are going to need, obviously, a big reactor. Uh, I have just set up a small one right here. I'm not going to be showing how to set up a reactor in this video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know and uh, let me know in the comments below, and I will uh, record a big reactor tutorial. I'm not a pro, but I have built a few reactors. The main block you're going to need in your reactor is the reactor computer port. This lets you actually integrate with the computer craft blocks. You're also going to need an advanced computer, nine advanced monitors, two wired modems, and uh, however many networking cables you need to run between them. As far as how you set the uh, monitors up, you just set it up in a 3x3 grid just like this. And as for the computer, you can really put this anywhere you want as long as it's connected to the computer. The, sorry, the monitor. So, I like to put mine back here, but that's just because it looks a little cleaner, especially when you're looking at it from this direction. Um, so, to set it up, you just put a wired modem on the reactor computer board, and one on the advanced computer, and then networking cable, networking cable, and this part's important. You have to right-click both of them, and so you see that they're connected to the network. From there, enter this string into the terminal. You can pause and take a look at that, and I will also have it on screen so that you can see it. Um, it and if you want to copy-paste it, it is just the last bit of the pastebin URL. So pastebin get 2JU1K5VG install. Press enter. And it will install it, and then paste bin, run, and then that, and you'll be greeted with this screen. So, like I said, the turbine control is not uh, currently functional. I need to update that from the original version. I haven't gotten around to it. I will make a video when I have gotten around to it. So for now, don't touch turbine control. So you're going to enter one and press enter. Let it do its thing. Enter to reboot. Enter. Searching for peripherals, reactor, monitor, done. And boom, you now have a computer craft system set up for your reactor. Now let's go over the features. So one of the main features is your information at a glance. You can tell whether your reactor is on or offline. You can see your fuel level. You can see the fuel and casing temp of your reactor. You can see how much Fe per tick you're making, how much is stored in the, um, in the power tab over here. You can see how much of your control rods are inserted, and you can see whether auto power is disabled or not. Uh, you can also turn your reactor on or off manually here, or you can choose to do auto power. If you enable this, you can set an on when storage percentage and off when storage percentage. Oh, I just realized I need to fix that. Anyway, um, so here I'm just going to leave it to default, and you can see since it's 0% FE stored, it has started the reactor, and you can see these will start filling. And then I can also turn that back off and turn the reactor off manually. However, I'm going to turn it back on because there are more things to show you. You can insert your control rods, which will lessen the amount of power you're generating, but also lessen the amount of 
uh, fuel you're using. So let's insert these 50%. So now you see we went from about 10, let's, let's, actually, hang on. There, you can see we're getting about 10,500 FE per tick. And then if I go back to 50%, we go about 9,000 or so, just about. Um, which is still a decent amount, but if you'll notice, if I set these back and go to efficiency, we're using uh, 1.2 megabuckets per tick of fuel. Okay, and then if I go back to control rods and insert it 50% and then go to efficiency, now we're only using half of that. We're using 0.6 megabuckets per tick, which is amazing. So uh, the next thing is you can also see your fuel level. So you can see we're at 52,031 out of 60,000 with a reactivity of 2%. And you can also see how much waste has been generated. Uh, you can see here we have 98 megabuckets, so not even an ingot. Uh, let's see, do we have any? Yes, we do have cyanide. All right, and the last thing is checking for updates. Now, I, there's no update as of right now. Uh, whenever I update the uh, program, you can right click or you can click check for updates. It'll connect to Pastebin. Oh, here it says there's an update available. Let's install. goes through the same setup process as before. And we have it updated. All right, guys, that is how to set up your big reactor computer craft system and some of the features it has. Uh, if you guys want, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. If there are any other videos you'd like me to make, like how to set up a big reactor, let me know. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.